Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is International Monetary Fund that is IMF. First of all, we will discuss about the inception of the IMF, IMF's core objectives, evolution and reforms in the IMF, organizational structure, financial resources of IMF, financial assistance by the IMF, a snapshot and practice questions. First of all, moving on to the inception of the IMF, that is International Monetary Fund. World Economic Scenario Post-World War I, economic turmoil hinted at the necessity of a stable international monetary framework. Bretton Woods Conference, 1944 Delegates from 44 nations converged in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, aiming to build a cooperative framework for post-World War II economic relations. IMF's Birth in December 1945, the IMF was born, initiating financial operations in 1947. It was envisioned as a beacon of stability for exchange rates and as a rebuilder of the global payment system. Now moving on to IMF's core objectives. Exchange rate stability. One of the IMF's primary roles is to prevent erratic fluctuations in currency exchange rates. A financial rescuer. The IMF offers monetary aid to member states grappling with balance of payments issues. Global Economic Watchdog By tracking global financial patterns and offering policy advice, the IMF serves as an economic sentinel. Empowering Nations Through training and expert consultation, the IMF aids nations in fortifying their economic capabilities. Now let's discuss about evolution and reforms in the IMF. Standby Arrangements Incepted in the 1950s, SBAs aimed to bolster countries experiencing short-lived balance of payments crisis, structural adjustment programs or SAPs. The 1980s saw the introduction of SAPs which mandated countries to usher in structural reforms to qualify for IMF aid. Poverty alleviation and growth The late 1990s heralded the Poverty Reduction and Growth Trust to buttress nations in their battles against poverty and in fostering growth. Now let's discuss about organizational structure of IMF. First is Board of Governors. Top decision-making body with a governor from each member country, typically the finance minister or central bank head, handles key decisions and meets annually. Second is Executive Board. Manages day-to-day -day work and is made up of 24 executive directors representing 190 members. The managing director supported by four deputy managing directors oversees daily operations and represents the IMF globally. Third is committees. International Monetary and Financial Committee provides policy guidance with 24 finance ministers and central bank governors. Development Committee. Jointly with the World Bank, focuses on development and resource transfer to developing countries and various other specialized committees exist for specific issues. Fourth is Area and Functional Departments. Area departments oversee economic programs for specific geographic regions and functional departments offer specialized expertise in areas like monetary markets and fiscal affairs. Independent Evaluation Office that is IEO conducts objective evaluations of IMF's policies and activities operating independently from IMF management and regional and liaison offices Includes regional offices, liaison offices to partner with international entities and training institutes for capacity development. Now let's understand about the financial resources of IMF. First is quotas. Main source of funding determined by a member's relative size in the global economy. It influences financial commitment, voting power and funding access. Second is borrowing agreements. Supplementary funding mechanisms includes General Borrowing Arrangements or GBA, New Arrangements to Borrow that is NAB and Bilateral Borrowing Agreements with Individual Countries. Third is Special Drawing Rights or SDRs, International Reserve Assets to Bolster Member Countries Reserves, tradable among members for freely usable currencies. Gold Holdings IMF is among the world's largest gold holders, provides strength to its balance sheet. Investment generates income and ensures value preservation of its financial resources. Operational income 
income derived from fees and charges on its financial activities covering operational expenses and supporting low income countries these resources equip the imf to aid its member countries especially during economic downturns now let's discuss about the financial assistance by the imf a snapshot stand by arrangements short term assistance for balance of payments problems extended fund facility aids structural reforms over a longer period flexible credit line or fcl upfront financing for countries with robust economic frameworks no continuous conditions precautionary and liquidity line support for countries with reliable policies rapid financing instruments swift aid for urgent balance of payments needs and poverty reduction and growth trust that is prgt concessional aid for low income countries aimed at growth and poverty alleviation in essence the imf provides varied financial tools to support member countries addressing both immediate and long term challenges now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims based question which conference paved the way for the establishment of the imf yalta conference potsdam conference bretton woods conference or bangdong conference you can send the answer of this question in the comment section and now mains question elucidate the multifaceted financial assistance tools provided by the imf to its member countries analyze their significance in stabilizing global economies and consider if there is a need for additional instruments or reforms in the existing mechanisms so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching